CBS News. Kids TV. Do these shows look educational to you? Fun, yes, but educational? What's happened to children's television? Eye on America knows tomorrow on the CBS Evening News. This is CBS. An unexpected development delays an annexation vote in the Stonebridge subdivision. We'll have details next on News Channel 3. I'm Steve Hayslip in Nashville. Governor McWhorter unveils a radical health care program. I'll tell you what local lawmakers have to say about it. Plus, a new program is helping put first-time farmers in the field. And in sports, from Carter's McCarver Stadium, where the chicks are supposed to open the season tonight. Stay tuned. News Channel 3 is next. The Delta. You can plan on the air to be hot, humid. The summers, long. And the rate of growth, phenomenal. So if you think a single pre-emergence herbicide will protect your soybeans all season long, with no escapes, then plan on thinking twice. DuPont Canopy, followed by Classic. The plan program for season-long protection. Because the Delta demands it. Now is the time for a custom van, and Chuck Hutton Van World is the place. With over 200 vans in stock on over 26 acres, Chuck Hutton has the best selection and lowest prices in the Mid-South. All the greatest names in custom vans, Choo Choo, Explore, Timeless, and Vantique, are at Chuck Hutton Van World, where I-240 and Mount Moriah meet in Memphis. Chuck Hutton Van World, where there's a world of difference. Well, the difference what we do at Chuck Hutton Van World. Want to save on the hottest looks? Women's and men's washable silk shirts. Short sleeves only $15.99, long sleeves only $19.99. Now at Burlington Coat Factory. The following News Channel 3 program is closed captioned for the hearing impaired. From WREG-TV. This is News Channel 3 at 6. I stand before you to recommend that the state of Tennessee withdraw from the Medicaid system. Governor Ned McWhorter unveils a radical health care reform plan. Good evening, I'm Pam Crittenden. And I'm Jerry Tate. The aim is to control the spiraling cost of health care and provide insurance for the half million people in Tennessee who have no coverage. The plan unveiled today is called TenCare. It would eliminate Medicaid, provide affordable coverage for every person in the state, require those covered to select a preferred provider, which would in turn create more competitive prices. And the plan calls for a computer network to eliminate duplicate billing. Today, the governor told a joint session of the legislature about his plan. He says there is current money available to pay for the plan without raising taxes, but it would require revamping the current Medicaid payment plan. If we make the commitment to do away with hocus-pocus funding of Medicaid, we must also be prepared to undertake radical changes in Tennessee's health care delivery system. Legislators, as you might expect, are giving the governor's plan mixed reviews. Steve Hayslip was in Nashville for the governor's announcement and talked with members of the General Assembly about it. The Shelby County delegation has strong feelings about the governor's plan to scrap the Medicaid program and overhaul Tennessee's health care system. We've got to contain cost and we've got to have some vision on how to move ahead and, and ensure the working people of Tennessee that don't have insurance right now. And I really like that aspect of his proposal. I want to give the governor A for effort. I, I, I really think he has made a bold move. Uh, we ought to be proud of him for that. While the governor may be getting high marks for his idea, implementing it may bring a lower grade. Many Shelby County lawmakers are concerned about how it will affect hospitals in the Memphis area. I'm afraid the med won't get its share of patients or its share of payments for doing indigent care. Accordingly, they will run it more of a deficit. And if they run it more of a deficit, the county taxpayers have to make that difference up. How many hospitals in Memphis who already give charity care are going to be affected greatly by this? Okay, just put that on YouTube. While current Medicaid recipients can visit any doctor, the governor's plan requires all Tennesseans to choose a preferred provider and stick with them. Barbara Smith likes that idea. Her daughter, Tawanda, receives treatment at the Mid-South Family Health Center. I think it's a pretty good idea for her to come here every week. Well, and she lacked, you know, coming here. 
But lawmakers worry not all those who need medical coverage are familiar with various health care providers. The uh, individuals who are going to, to help are going to have to be knowledgeable of the different providers. And what we've, got do, what we've got to do is make sure that they do their job. McWhorter says the plan can work if lawmakers give their approval. If not, the governor says he'll return to the drawing board. In Nashville, Steve Hayslip, WREG News Channel 3. The plan is expected to save Tennessee $6.5 billion in health care costs over the next five years. The Regional Medical Center is already bracing for changes called for in McWhorter's plan. The Med gets a big portion of its budget from Medicaid payments and stands to lose millions with a switch to managed care. The emergency department director says many use the emergency room because they don't have access to routine medical care. And cuts in the Med's budget could be devastating. You can't pay the light, the water, buy the medicines, and pay the employees if you don't have money. The Med would either have to curtail staff or curtail services if we reached that point. Other hospitals echo the concern of a shortage of care of primary care providers in Tennessee, both in the cities and outlying areas. Police are still trying to determine how a woman died in South Memphis today. Police tell me the body of 25-year-old Tammy Edwards was found inside a house in the 600 block of Howard, just off Tulane. Investigators are still questioning people to determine how Edwards died. They say it's still unclear whether she was murdered or if her death was an accident. There is no verdict this evening in the bank fraud trial of Congressman Harold Ford and two others. Ford says he expects to be found innocent, but he admits the wait for the verdict is tough. About two dozen Ford supporters spent most of the day waiting in the courtroom. The jury did ask today to see several pieces of evidence. Co-defendants Carl Sledwitz and Doug Beatty went to work today. A vote on whether Lakeland should annex Stonebridge is being delayed. The Shelby County Election Commission called off Tuesday's vote because Lakeland found out it would violate state annexation laws. Lakeland and Memphis are fighting over Stonebridge. State law says the smaller city can't hold an annexation vote until the larger one acts on its bid to annex the area. Lakeland's mayor says the delay won't affect the way people in Stonebridge feel. We think they'll, if they read the record and understand the facts, we're in a better position now than we were before. So we've, we've lost a little fervor, a little support, but that will return, I do believe. Despite the delay, Lakeland does not plan to withdraw a lawsuit challenging Memphis' efforts to annex Stonebridge. Wherever you live in Shelby County, you're going to have to wait a bit longer to find out what your new property tax rate will be. A computer glitch delayed the county from coming up with accurate property values by the April 20th deadline. As it stands now, you should know by May 20th the value of your property. At that time, uh, there will be some 286,000 uh, notices from the assessor's office mailed to uh, the uh, property owners of Shelby County. The Memphis City Council has to vote on the new tax rate by July 1st. A Memphis company is laying off a third of its workforce. Details a little bit later. I'm Stephanie Skurlock in Crawfordsville, Arkansas. There's a new program designed to keep the family farm alive. I'll have that story. The Corps of Engineers commissions its new high-tech towboat. I'm Brian Teglum. The rain continues. We'll see when it will end. You're watching WREG News Channel 3, and we're proud to serve Arkabutla and all of Tate County, Mississippi. Wake up, Mid-South. News Channel 3 is making more time for you. More news, more weather, more sports. More time for local news, area weather, traffic updates. For more of what's going on in your neighborhood and around the world. I'm Harry Smith. And I'm Paula Zah. I'm Mary Beth Conley. I'm Doug Johnson. Wake up to Daybreak and CBS This Morning, the only morning team that gives you more. More sports. Weekdays starting at 6 a.m. on WREG-TV, where local news comes first. At Piggly Wiggly, you'll find a great selection of national brands and our own store brands, so you can save every day with our special red-hot prices on items like Brian Hickory Crest Boneless Ham, just $1.17 a pound, just in time for Easter, 2-liter Cokes, only 69 cents, and Piggly Wiggly Large Eggs, just 39 cents a dozen. For quality products and great savings, come to Piggly Wiggly.
One place. One price. One buck. Today, Midway Ford's got over 600 new Fords, all at one price. Every single vehicle is the same, no hassle price. One buck. They're all priced just one buck over the actual factory invoice. Escorts. Rangers. Taurus. Full-size trucks. Explorers. Everything. One price. One buck. What's the catch? No catch, no tricks, no gimmicks. One place. One price. One buck. Rush to Midway Ford, corner of Winchester and East Poplar. Artie Bray wrote that his snapper rear engine rider has started every time for 11 years. We thought that might be a record, but then Russell Wittig wrote that his snapper has been cutting it clean for 26 years. Then, Jim Shell told us his snapper rear engine rider has been taming rough terrain for 30 years. No wonder snappers mow more of the world's lawns than any other rear engine riders. Anything less just won't cut it. April Thompson School Beat reports on WREG News Channel 3. The first family is back in Arkansas this evening to attend the funeral of Hillary Clinton's father. Hugh Rodham died last night, three weeks after suffering a stroke. Little Rock is where we begin this evening's Mid-South in a minute. President and Mrs. Clinton and daughter Chelsea arrived in Little Rock around noon today. They will attend a memorial service for her father tomorrow. He'll be buried in his boyhood home of Scranton, Pennsylvania. The 79th session of the Arkansas General Assembly is winding down. Legislators are working on a flurry of bills so they can adjourn the session today as planned. All-pro defensive end Reggie White isn't forgetting his roots. He signed his contract with Green Bay Packers today in Chattanooga at the school where he graduated. The Mississippi River continues to rise. It's up two-tenths of a foot from yesterday. It's already causing low-level flooding in West Tennessee. The river is expected to crest Saturday at 31.1 feet. At Memphis flood stage is 34 feet. And that's this evening's Mid-South in a Minute. A new high-tech towboat is being put to work on the Mississippi River. Hundreds of people turned out today as the Corps of Engineers commissioned the Mississippi, its new state-of-the-art vessel. It's the fifth in a line of towboats dating back to the 1800s. It'll be used to tow barges and oversee flood control and river navigation. The Mississippi is the only one of its kind operated by the Corps. Its first mission will be high water inspections. Well, we just can't seem to shake this rain. Let's go outside to Brian. Uh, we're going to get a, a new view of this uh, rain this evening, aren't we, Brian? Some enhanced radar pictures, right? That's why we're really excited about uh, weather technology and where it's going. Something brand new to show you tonight on News Channel 3. First of all, well, we have some rain outside here right now. Light rain occurring at Memphis International Airport. Here are the present conditions, along with cloudy skies and light rain. Temperatures today have really not very much 59 degrees of present temperature wind out of the west at six humidity 93 percent of the barometer is rising at 29.83 our high temperature so far for the day unofficially 68 degrees and our low 58 and there are the normals and the records to compare first of all let's take a look at radar this is the 120 mile range we've put an animation together to give you an idea of the light and moderate rain that has moved up through northeastern arkansas into northwestern mississippi and across memphis and shelby county into west tennessee there have been some brief periods of heavy rain. Certainly the heaviest rain has been well to the south. Now what Jerry was talking about and what we're really excited about, what you're about to see is a first in Memphis television. These are the first test images or some of the first test images out of Little Rock, Arkansas's Doppler radar system. And what this will be doing, notice this is coming out of Doppler right here. This is our Skywatch 3 Doppler radar. Here's Little Rock. Here's Memphis and Shelby County. And it's picking up this light and moderate rain way over in northwestern Arkansas. So hopefully with this advancement in weather technology, we will continue to bring you up to the date and firsthand information on the potential of severe weather and possible tornadoes. And very important this time of the year as we're heading into the spring months. So very excited about Doppler radar coming to the Mid-South. Let's take a look now at what's happening across the rest of the United States. We've got some uh, cloudiness that has been building across the south central part of the country. Also notice the clearing out of Arkansas and Louisiana. Not total clearing, but the clouds are breaking up, and that is what's the good news for an Easter holiday. Here you see the low pressure by tomorrow moving off to the east, northeast. The rain might have a few showers to start the day tomorrow and also the possibility of some lingering clouds, but then becoming partly cloudy and high temperatures tomorrow across the region, upper 50s to around 60 degrees. All right, here you go. It's wet out here, and 
And take care traveling again tonight because of the uh, slippery street showers. Possible thunderstorm this evening. Temperatures in the 50s. South wind at 10. Tonight, showers. Possible thunderstorm. Temperature near 50 degrees. South wind at 10. And then in the morning, showers ending. Temperatures in the 50s. North wind at 10. Better looking Friday later on. 61 for a high. The wind shift, you'll notice, out of the north at 10 to 20. And then the extended forecast. Look at that weekend. Saturday, Sunday. Temperatures in the mid and upper 60s with fair to partly cloudy skies. Terrific. High temperatures approaching 70 degrees on Monday. Couldn't ask really for a better Easter Sunday coming up. Jerry? That's good to hear. I noticed uh, the intensity so much better, a clear with the intensity of that rain on that Doppler radar, Brian. That's right. And, and not only with Doppler radar do you see the rain, the thunderstorms, but it can actually see surface fronts. It can see different. Uh, it can actually see the wind. It is so sensitive, 100 times uh, more sensitive than conventional radar. And it, it can actually see air masses as they move, and, and you can detect where those fronts are. So, so uh, hopefully as we head into the spring months and the months of heavy thunderstorms and severe weather, this will give us uh, a, a real quick eye on what's happening across the Mid South. We're I excited. I was just going to say, we're coming into the season where it's going to maybe come in real handy. Thanks a lot, okay. Pam. In this evening's Talk Back 3, one viewer who saw our story on a campaign to make truckers more aware of AIDS believes we showed them in a bad light. When are y'all ever going to say anything nice about the truck? I'd really like to thank Channel 3 for giving great news in the morning. You're the only station in Memphis that actually gives a newscast. Stop complaining about the weather. What if we went for a year without any kind of rain? and we didn't have anything to eat. If you would like to make a comment about our coverage, call our toll-free line. It's Talkback 3, 1-800-753-WREG. A new program is helping first-time farmers. Details coming up. Plus, pink slips are in the future for some employees at Kraft. Stay tuned. Attention truck buyers, we're Performance Toyota in Memphis. Now we're the other guys. And let me tell you something, right now we're making some deals you won't find out on the pike. In fact, here's just one example, folks. Come in right now, you can buy any truck in our giant inventory from the big new Toyota T100 to the Toyota Sport Truck. And folks, take a look. You take your choice and you pay exactly $1 over the actual factory invoice. Now come on, we're going to show you the invoice. That's what we paid. You add one dollar that's what you pay one place though here at performance toyota now we're the other guys we'll save you money you can count on it news channel 3 wants to share your comments about our coverage give us a call at 1-800-753-WREG talk back three only on news channel 3. Rock 103 and a King's Classic Stuff. Good morning from uh, Tim. Dev, bad dog. If uh, this were kindergarten we would be without adult supervision. You got that right. He's bad company from straight shooter on Rock 103. When you need tires, you don't want to blow a lot of cash. So go to Just Tires, where they guarantee low tire prices every day. They also offer a great selection of quality tires and trained tire technicians who are just plain fast. That's why they can offer guaranteed installation in 30 minutes or less. So you'll leave with the perfect tires installed in a flash, and you'll still have some cash on hand. For low prices and fast service, come to Just Tires. It's just plain smart. During this Easter holiday, our Schilling employees and their families encourage each of you to celebrate the joy and promise of this glorious season together. Schilling, it's our people that make the difference. Since the tragic shooting of actor Brandon Lee, everyone's asking, how could this happen? Could it happen again to other stars? On the next Entertainment Tonight, we'll talk to Hollywood's hired guns to hear how they keep the stars safe. They give it to me, they show me the barrel, and now... And as soon as I'm done, they grab it. Then it's Tom Hanks with a behind-the-scenes look at his new role, director on TV's A League of Their Own. Plus, hear why Holly Hunter found playing the alleged Texas cheerleader murdering mom fun on the next E.T. Tonight at 630 here on News Channel 3. A new neighbor is driving Sammy nuts on the next years. Tonight at 1035. The Kraft Company is laying off almost a third of its employees at a packaging warehouse in North Memphis. Union members tell us as many as 100 people will be laid off in the next few months. About 300 work at the plant. Company executives wouldn't talk about the changes, but employees say the cuts are due to declining profits. We're not satisfied definitely about that. Uh, nobody losing a job, but our, uh, it's nothing really. We're going to see what we can do, but it don't look like we can do nothing but swallow the pill. The union and company plan to meet next week to talk about details of the layoffs. 
The number of family farms is dwindling. Experts say the business is too costly and too risky for most people to break into. But as Stephanie Skurlock reports, there is a new program designed to lend beginning farmers a helping hand. Well, I grew up on a farm and uh, just farms in my blood. I, I like the uh, variety of jobs I get to do. I'm always doing something different. 24-year-old Chris O'Neill is a fourth-generation farmer. He loves his job, but he says obstacles keep getting in the way. It's hard to find land, hard to find good land. It's hard to get started because of the great amount of money that you need to get started. The Farmers Home Administration realizes the deck is stacked against young farmers, so they proposed the beginning farm program to help offset some of the costs. The program offers loans to farmers even if they don't have credit established. That's something most banks won't do. Farmers like Chris, who have less than five years of experience, can get money to pay for equipment and land. The, the inability to get credit is, a, is a, one of the major factors involved. Uh, uh, farmers have to expend so much money in uh, both acquiring property and then, and then keeping their operating expenses up. Moore believes a helping hand at the start will keep a lot of beginning farmers from going broke and going out of business. In Crawfordsville, Arkansas, Stephanie Skurlock, WREG News Channel 3. The program is offered in all 50 states. Well, in a moment, highlights of round one of the Masters. It has begun. Glenn Carver's in for Mike Keller again this evening. He'll have that. And he'll also give you a good look at the new McCarver Stadium. It's going to have to wait another night for baseball, it seems. Stay tuned. For a limited time only at Eubanks Furniture, our Kimball Victorian is priced up to 30% off. Eubanks Furniture, from our family to yours. Eubanks where are most of the world's fine carpets manufactured? In the great carpet mills of Georgia. And who brings it direct to Memphis at a price no one else can touch? Your Georgia Carpet Outlet Store. 500 rolls of beautiful, long-lasting, stain-fighting carpet in the newest styles and colors. All priced from $4 to $14 a yard. Not $10 to $35, but $4 to $14 a yard every day. Come see us now and save. Georgia Carpet Outlet Store, bringing beautiful carpet within reach of everyone. At McDuff, we're listening to our clients. You said you wanted top name brands, personalized service, and value. Like this Magnavox 25-inch television with a high contrast picture tube to give you better picture performance. This Magnavox 